just off Oxley Road at Oxley in the park here. All this is meant to be dry, all this rain backed up. This place is notorious for flooding, this uh, the main road there's open at the moment. It was closed like yesterday. And if it keeps raining heavily overnight, it'll probably close again. Over the road here, got the golf driving range. And these poor bastards have had a heck of a run the last couple of years. They've uh, had a big flood in early 2011. They got absolutely wiped out, reopened. They got flooded again earlier this year. And as you can see, the buildings are out of water, which is great, but you no access. Car park and entrances are underwater. So much fun for them, trying to stay in business, I dare say. If you look down the road there, the furthest around about, either side of that's the water, that's where it always goes under. side road we'll go down towards the actual golf club. I suspect no one's playing down there today because the road is very likely to be cut. We'll go and have a look, see what we can see. Yeah, as expected, like the weather gods don't want anyone playing golf down there at the golf club. It's closed. Better footage of it for a while. Well, sure is good weather for ducks. See how that road's cut. That's the side road. If you wander over here, this is the other road. It dips away there and goes to the golf club, but as mentioned, I don't think anyone's going to be playing golf there today. Not without a boat. trip back into the car, it's pretty damn wet out there. And I just thought I'd show you guys something. You can see that they basically put up the road closed sign, which you might think is stating the bleeding obvious, but believe it or not, some people do attempt to drive across flooded roads, and I think it was only last week we had a gentleman, a old elderly gentleman, but not too far from here, a couple of hours away, and tried to get across the flooded road, and unfortunately his vehicle got washed off and he was drowned. Now one of the things people don't realise it's not just the depth of the water but the speed of the water and it doesn't take a whole lot of water once it, um, your tyres break traction off that road if the water's fast enough it can sweep even heavy four wheel drive off very quickly. I think in the last 12 months or so we've lost in this state where I live six or seven people drown that way. So um, yeah, if anyone's watching this and they're thinking about hey I reckon I can get across that, um, think again, it's not worth the risk. Further throw it in behind the Ipswich motorway. See the level indicators there. And we're just talking about not crossing flooded roads. This road's closed both ways, signed. Unfortunately, I didn't catch her on film, but some old guy on a four wheel drive just ploughed through there. And as he came past the road close sign, he picked up a witch's hat, which he carried for another couple hundred metres up the road before he realised it was there. So he's been down the local bowls club having a few bevies, but. Uh, Water here is not flowing real fast, so we got away off that, but still not real clever. Here comes another one now. We might just get a bit out of sight and see if we can catch one of these clowns doing the wrong thing just for a bit of fun. Let's see what happens here. The reason I'm getting a bit out of sight is I don't really want to be coming trying to take the camera off me. I think I'm collecting evidence or something. But these people across here have come considerably way past the road close signs. That in itself will get you booked. Looks like they're doing the right thing and I have a go at it though, so that's something I guess.